Welcome back to the shop, everybody. Now that I've got your attention with some gunfire, don't forget the August giveaway. We've only got a few days left. Good luck to everybody. My son is getting married. And so I thought I'd make them something to keep their rings in. Now, this little heart-shaped box is made out of cherry. And we're going to do something fancy to it here in the end. But as this thing works its way around, I noticed that in the top left corner of that board, there is a defect. That's why I stopped machine to check it. Now, I realized another mistake that I made. Right here, there's supposed to be a lip. And there was two programs in the machine, and I grabbed the wrong one, and it cut the lip off. The lip that I need is in the second one here. You can see it. It's right there. That holds the box on, the box top on, and holds it in alignment. So we're good to go here. Now luckily I had enough space on that board that I could continue and cut out the second heart and the lid. I employed a little trick that I use quite often. If you notice on the left side of that heart underneath all that dust there's a line. And what I've done is on my fence before I moved the board to begin with I put a piece of tape on the corner of the fence that in lines with the edge of the piece. I loosened the board up and slid it over until the line that I had made lined up with the edge of the tape right there you can see it and I basically started over without having to re-zero the machine it's kind of a neat little trick that I do from time to time when we make mistakes but it does work out nicely and I can't help but highlight my clamping system here how easy it is to remove the piece loosen those screws push the bar back and you've got the piece in your hand. So rather than hog into my waste board, I try to cut the project so that they are just paper thin before they go through the bottom of the stock. As you can see there, you can just see the marks from the back side of that box. And my bandsaw was giving me just a little grief here, but I'm trying to take off a paper thin slice because I don't want to go into the project I just want to remove it from the original piece of wood but we've got her here now and as you'll see I'm cutting it just enough to loosen up that piece We'll do the same thing here with the top. We'll just slice it loose and be good to go. Of course it puts a rough edge on it so we're over to the belt sander to smooth the top off. We'll just keep working letting the belt run with the grain until we get a nice smooth surface. Now what I'm doing here is taking the chisel and flattening out the bottom of the box. There's a little bit of a ridge in there when the machine goes around. Again, not necessary, but I think it makes a nicer finished piece. And with that, we'll start putting something fancy together for the top of this box. I'm always amazed at what this machine will do, what it can produce. A quick bit change here from a quarter inch flat end mill to a 1 8 inch round ball nose and we'll put some detail on this thing. One of the big advantages to a CNC is while it's doing its job you can do something else like hand sand a cherry box so that the seam is seamless. What a pretty little thing that is. And how much we love sanding.
it's incredible that that can produce that beautiful piece running back and forth. Now I reduced the step over on that considerably to try and smooth it up and there was just a little bit of a line. And whenever you're sanding a piece, leave it in the clamps. It's much easier than trying to hold it still yourself. Doing the same thing here that we did with the box itself and you saw the blade come through, it was too deep. I want that blade just behind the image so that I can then sand to the image to get a perfect flawless connection with the box. We'll take it over to the sander, that's paper thin, and we'll keep sanding until the shape is realized. When we're done with that, the butterfly will fly over to where it's going to rest. Right there on that heart-shaped box. And that is a maple butterfly sitting on a heart-shaped cherry box. And there you have it, folks. Again, with the exterior poly, just because of the way it sprays. I hope you got something out of this video. I hope maybe you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a like, a share. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one.